Welcome to the Cocktail Spirit from Small Screen Network. I'm your host, Robert Hess. Again, we're going to dive back in history to look at an old cocktail. This, this cocktail comes out of this book, Modern American Drinks. Okay, modern. Yeah, I guess that kind of depends upon what time frame you're looking at. Modern, in this case, was 1895. Uh, the drink is called the Metropole. Now, in this recipe, the Metropole was using equal parts of brandy and dry vermouth. Um, it's been commented that maybe the brandy could use a little bit of uplift to take and in increase its volume in the drink. Um, so we can do that without actually changing the drink itself. It's still a Metropole drink, even though we're using a slightly different recipe than was originally published. This happens all the time. Uh, the sidecar recipe, for example, its very first printing shook, called for equal parts of brandy, Cointreau, and lemon juice. And I don't think anybody makes it like that anymore because it's far too sour of a drink. So again, we're modifying the original just slightly. I'm going to use, rather than equal parts, I'm going to use two parts brandy and one part of dry vermouth. Uh, so in this case, I'm going to use one and a half ounces of brandy. And then I'm going to use three quarters of an ounce of dry vermouth. Again, this is a good reason for using uh, uh, these jiggers rather than jiggers I used before because this actually has a three quarter ounce mark in it. Then we're going to add uh, one dash of orange bitters, a dash and a half, and then two dashes of Creole bitters. This is the Bitter Truth Creole bitters. Um, or Peychaud's bitters is a similar product, and that was what was called for in the original recipe. And then finally, we're going to add just a little teeny bit of simple syrup. Um, it's less than a quarter of an ounce, um, and that's kind of hard to measure. Um, you don't want to put too much. And a lot of this has to do with taste. So I'm going to do maybe about an eighth of an ounce, maybe a little bit more. Um, you'll come across some versions of this recipe that don't call for the simple syrup. Um, I think it needs it. I think the simple syrup is an important ingredient to balance out the dryness that would have been there otherwise. Of course, some people say I have a sweet tooth, but who knows. Drain this into our glass. Oh, it's delightful. I mean, it, it's got that, you know, the, the, the brandy forward is taking definitely the, the celebrated spirit here. The, the dry vermouth is adding the botanicals that they bring to the table, Those, that kind of herbal kind of flavor to it. Um, and the bitters, kind of this thing kind of sliding in the background. Uh, some drinks that use uh, Creole or Peychaud's bitters, uh, it takes over the anise flavor. But I think the orange bitters and the simple syrup tend to balance it out, tame it a little bit without, so it doesn't take it over. Um, I think that's a wonderful drink. Still on the dry side, uh, but a wonderful drink. And there we have the Metropole cocktail.